It could, that's the thing. If I take it off, it'll just maintain its shape on its own. Like I would have taken it off earlier, but I was scared I wouldn't be able to catch it. Um, uh, I, cu I couldn't take it off because it had fused to my skin. <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Pedro's mm -hmm. still dead. But I'm here, I'm Vince Stone, joined every week by the man up north, our tamed Canadian podcaster, you know him, you love him, that is one Jordan's <laughs> thing, and all the way- I'm technically undead. In the land of earthquakes, <laughs> and, well, mostly earthquakes, sometimes fire, that's Jill in <laughs> yes. space LA, together with you at home. Yeah. Join us live, helping us form, you know what you love, it, cocaine Moltron. But before we get started, we do like to see what's <laughs> going on in each other's lives. Jordan, I heard you had a fascinating day today. <laughs> I did laundry. I'm I'm so happy that I finally have clean underwear. I've been wearing the same pair of underwear for like two months now. I finally washed it. It'd be like that sometimes. It could, that's the thing. If I take it off, it'll just maintain its shape on its own. Like I would have taken it off earlier, but I was scared I wouldn't be able to catch it. Um, uh, I, cu I couldn't take it off because it had fused to my skin. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Jill, what's up? Yay! What's new? Oh, so I'm so excited right now. I'm speaking to you from my new Aston Stealth mic. Got it all hooked up on Thursday, and I'm really happy with it. This is the one Ven recommended because it has a, a girl sound mode. <laughs> it does. It's also got built-in phantom power. It's great. Just be careful. Yeah. Don't feed it after midnight. Try not to get it too wet. Um, I, 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 I actually kind of want to hear Jill... Lightning? I kind of I kind of want to hear, hear Jill in like man mode. I wonder if, uh, that, that, that's basically like what 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 if uh, Jill inhaled a bunch of sulfur hexafluoride? Dude, and... Actually, that's what you're thinking. But if you put it on the male voice pattern with that microphone, it's uh, like Steve Buscemi on helium. <laughs> oh wow! So so why why aren't we hearing her in that mode right now? The internet's now? not ready for that. I'm ready. For, my body is ready, yes. dude. Um, I ran into a fun thing, man. Um, Tomb Raider, like the original Tomb Raider, uh, what, 19? Like the, the, the tri triangle boots. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. I wanted to play around with Open Tomb. I'm like, okay, well, look, mm -hmm. um, let's go ahead and grab a copy off Steam for like a dollar, whatever it was. And, you know, that one ships in DOS box, right? So I'm mm -hmm. down with that. I'm like, whatever. I'll just get this. And I was like, oh, look, it's a GOG thing. I want to play with this Open Tomb, tomb engine. I compiled that. I'm like, that works. Then it ended up with like game.gog and... How do I extract this? 45 minutes later. Like this oh, one wow. post on the <laughs> GitHub on like page three of Google. Explained mm -hmm. like that GOG is like a bin queue structure where you have to create your own bin yeah. file. And it's mm -hmm. a very involved situation that I've, I'm going to show everyone how to do it later. Because that's one of those things like that needs to be a like the first search result. Well, well, my, my, mm -hmm. my first thinking was like having having dealt with enterprise Java, mm -hmm. there are a bunch of like containers that are actually just zip files. So my first thought was like, what happens if you just run unzip on it? Does that nope. like uh, it's an ISO? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, you got to mount it. No you have to mount you have it. To, you have to create an ISO from the dot gog because it's not really an ISO. It's ISO ish. 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 Oh. Yeah, it, there, oh. there's there's a task. There was me at like 1.30 in the morning with just a line on Discord going, motherfucker, comma, I win. <laughs> but damn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> but 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 you you have successfully raided the tomb of the Tomb Raider uh, so that you can raid some tombs in Tomb Raider. Hey man, can we raid the horse? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know is the horse on twitch can we can, can we rate it possibly what, what what is the horse stream is it just fortnite is it horse night, horse night. it's the steam <laughs> Linux. update of the week, of the week. <laughs> all right well you you know what it's it's that time of year again where we have another steam sale on the horizon Yay. you know you, you, you miss something during the winter sale mm -hmm. just like the weather in calgary you just gotta wait a couple minutes and then it will go on sale again. dude it feels like that these days doesn't it <laughs> it really does <laughs> yeah. so um what was it late january mm. um january 23rd to the 27th is the steam lunar new year sale so mm. it's the, it's the year of the rat boys I, go get mm -hmm. steel rats that's on sale possibly yeah 
Dude, that probably runs under Roton. Maybe we can give that as fun gifts. I was talking about this. No, we, it, that, that, that one, that one's native. We threw chairs at it. Oh, steel rats. I was thinking about bad rats. Yeah, bad rats. The uh, right, yeah, right, the right. classic um, best game on Steam. Mm. Yeah, biker maestro <laughs> Mars. The winter sale. I was thinking, um, what do you mean, like sale itis? Like, uh, I don't want to buy it because it's going to be on sale again in two months. Maybe it'll be a better deal. Exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that, that's why that's why I never like get too worked up. I'm like, oh my god, the Steam sale! <laughs> a, I already own most of the games on Steam that I actually want, mm -hmm. and B, the ones I do want will be cheap in like a year or two because they're new. Unless it's yeah. like Axiom Verge, because that's always going to be twenty dollars. More on that at eleven. <laughs> yeah, you know, I remember this happening last year, and I grabbed a few games from my wish list that I had missed during the winter sale. But um, I'm not recalling is it is the uh, the sale is good because the winter sale is really good and I can't remember if the if the lunar sale was as good. <laughs> That's it, dude. Uh, I don't know, man. It's like yeah. the sales have definitely. <laughs> we don't like, remember. <laughs> <We're> like <laughs> they used to be staggering. Is it just because we already have all the games that we want, or yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I I genuinely think that's what it is. Mm. It's mm -hmm. just. Cause like, oh well, I've I've waited for this thing to go on sale, and I bought it. And the next time the next sale runs around, rolls around, it's like, well, I have I have the thing that I wanted. I own near. It's not gonna if even even yeah. if it gets cheaper, I'm not gonna buy it because I already own right. it. So that's definitely a thing. We do get a little bit of interesting news with the latest Steam client beta that came out on January oh, no. 9th. A bunch of updates to the library. I gotta admit, Valve, you've done a half decent job of making this a functional client after the train wreck mm -hmm. that was the initial release <laughs> in the early betas but for linux we have we have two things one you know there's a fix for steam library on some nfs mounts because you're an insane person you do that but well you're the atomic ass yeah the other one <laughs> is it fixes a crash while preparing the hardware survey now hear me out i ran into this <laughs> i ran into this and i just didn't feel like recording it was um it had to have been january 1st first of the year when everyone got a steam hardware survey on linux it was like christmas and i, I was in the beta client i launched it and i was like i wonder if I, ah there it is it wasn't special because everyone else did and if you grab the window and you like i moved it to position it to take a screenshot and it crashed the client it's like <laughs> god did you see I, I, I forget who it was. It was either Phronix or Gaming on Linux. But they're like, oh, Steve has fixed a bug that may result in more Linux machines being reported in the hardware survey. No. 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 Steam's got those numbers, baby. That has nothing to do with that. that, that, that Steam hardware survey is just a feel-good mechanic. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, it's, it's to remind you that that money you spent mm -hmm. on a 1060 was just like everyone else. This is true. I'm glad it's fixed. I was really angry when I moved moved it because like oh make it line because i do the traditional hey look i got one posted on the twitters and stuff like that but when i launched it again it came back up again to which i moved it again and it immediately crashed i said you know what i'm out fine i i, I don't know i i haven't gotten a, i haven't gotten a hardware survey since like a hardware survey a hardware <laughs> survey hardware survey since um i got three in a row like in the same day mm. that's almost as dangerous yeah. as a hadaway survey maybe well i I actually get the hardware survey all the time because I'm I'm constantly testing distros and the first thing I install is Steam to see how games run on the distro. <laughs> so I constantly get them. <laughs> Sometimes uh, like could, literally could, could, like could, five times a week. <laughs> could it could be worse. You could be using Steam as an audio player. This is true. Yeah. Oh, I do. <laughs> yes. Speaking you, of which, you, you're the only one, Jill. You are literally the only one. They're making this update specifically for you. Yes. <laughs> so speaking of which, there's been major updates and new functionality to Steam gaming soundtracks on Steam. There's a new soundtrack app type now. And uh, for music content, this has so has so many more improvements over Soundtrack's original label as downloadable content, including being able to purchase the soundtrack without purchasing the base game. And they can now support not just MP3s, but higher quality flax and waves. And I was really happy to hear that, definitely. And they have actually a completely new interface for soundtracks that is very minimal and makes it easier for playback and browsing of files. 
And what's really cool, and I was this was one of the first things you noticed, is soundtracks can now include album art and liner notes. Because it was just all text before. So it's it's really nice to have uh, <laughs> have uh, Steam upgraded to a more modern music player Dude, look and feel. I have Jordan's, <laughs> I'm, Jordan, I'm going to assume you have a similar reaction. When I saw this, I was like, oh, that's right. It has a music player in it somewhere. Right. I don't even know where it's at. I couldn't find it right now if you, if you hold it. So, so what, 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 what happens is like... <laughs> Some sometimes like I'll mash the keyboard by accident and then like the Steam audio player will pop up and be like, oh, so there is a button to bring it up. I just don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> uh I mean I don't I don't know. My my, my I, I have a computer powerful enough to run an audio player and a game at the same time. Mm-hmm. So if I really need to listen to music while I'm playing games, I can do that. Okay. What if you're stuck? I, 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 I could I could I, What if you're stuck <laughs> gaming on a laptop? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think even then laptops are powerful enough that they can. Well, I don't yeah. even think it's the power decode. thing. I'm thinking like the screen reel is how is, is it integrated? I think yeah, I think I think it yeah. is actually integrated into the overlay a little bit. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I, it... for, I, 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 I was I was racking my brains trying to think of something to put in the show notes for this, and it's Aww. like maybe 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 I can see this as. <laughs> Being useful if you use Steam Big Picture mode, right? Like if you're if you're committed to the big picture like console experience and you want to like play mm-hmm. some music, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I can I can maybe see this, maybe yeah. see some merit towards this. But again, yeah, uh, you know, I think about it because like for instance, when I'm playing uh, Portal Two, which I go back and play all the time and all the mods and in, in the workshop, you know, and I want to hear the Portal Two music, it just. It's convenient. It's there. <laughs> I only use Steam for one thing and one thing only, to watch my movies. Wait, no. <laughs> I, I, I use it as a web browser, web browser. sometimes. Dude, did you yeah. notice that, well, you don't run the betas. Uh, it's been a couple yeah. of months now, that it will trigger Gnome Key Ring. Oh, yeah, yeah I, that's I right. That, yeah, that, it does that's, now. That's a, Every time I that's launch a Chrome, it. <laughs> that's a Chrome thing, though. I, I, yeah. Well, I know uh, it's Chromium. I'm, I'm just saying it will now trigger it as opposed to yeah, it yeah, used to not do it, that at all, ever. It used to For, not, yeah. It, it, Discord did that to me the other day. I'm like, Ooh. huh. Oh, yeah. yeah Electron yeah, Grinnell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got some bad news. <laughs> Uh, d- don't, don't, uh, it, 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 it did. Oh no, it's no. Dota 2. Th- th- this from, this is from dot esports dot com dot esports dot com. Um, yeah, so apparently Dota 2's player count has been at its lowest since January. What is 60, the top end of 60, 637, 3000. Yeah. Um, and oh, and th- this might this might sing the end of Dota. Some say, but like honestly, I'm surprised it took this long because like MOBAs have kind of had their day in court, yeah, right? right? Yeah. They, 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 they they have a pretty high skill barrier because like the people who play MOBAs and like the active community of people who play MOBAs basically just play MOBAs, and they have a bit of an earned reputation for not being particularly welcome to new people, because it's like, well, why the fuck are you wasting my time? Get good. No. Blah, blah, blah. Um, plus, you know, Battle Royale kind of ate its lunch. Uh, once once upon a time, everyone and their dog was trying to put out a Battle Roy- or a, a MOBA, and now everyone and their dog's trying to put out a Battle Royale. You gotta think, like, even um, with it's, the, it's uh, the hot thing. MOBAs, man, people are back at Blizzard. They they rolled back on theirs, didn't they? Uh, what was it? The Heroes, yeah, of, the Her- Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah, I don't know about that. But it's one of the dumb things, like uh, League of Legends and stuff like that. Dota, it's yeah. never going to go away. Why? Because free. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So true. And, you know, we, we actually played the Dota Lords, um, Dota Underlord. <laughs> Excuse me. The Dota Underlords auto chess game. We're lying to people. Um, we who's... didn't play that. We both stared at <laughs> yes. a screen and went, I yes. guess it's doing something. <laughs> It was I, me and Ben. I, 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 did, and, I did no such thing. Yeah. Who, who, well, who's we, Jill? Yeah, it was me and Ben. And, and, it's, it's the uh, Californian we. It's like the royal we, yeah. with more earthquakes. <laughs> oh. So, you know, we played the Early Access, which was released in June of 2019. And I'm sure uh, was Valve's attempt to keep the Dota 2 franchise going. And I, it, well, it did help, especially well, since Well, that, that, that was the, the thing. I, yeah. Auto, auto chess was like a like a fan made game mode, um, exactly. Sort of like sort, sort of like how Dota, like mm-hmm. the original Dota, was a StarCraft mod originally. Um, yeah, 
and it, I, I had remarked when it came out that it was kind of interesting that like the sort of lineage of hacks built on top of hacks built on top of hacks like persists yeah. and I thought that was an interesting development um, but it, it was basically yes. just like a low effort version of Dota mm -hmm. that you could that you could just sort of idly do as opposed to like the very skill and positioning and coordination intensive like, yeah. I think one of the biggest problems yes. with like auto chess was Valve getting it and take because it effectively I one of the appeals to auto chess was like, oh, this is one of these weird little mods and these hack deals that we got going on. That's kind of underground. Not everyone knows about it. And Valve made it corporate. Well, Val mm -hmm. Valve and that Chinese company, I forget. Because they, 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 they had partnered up, right? Oh, probably. Like, I, the, I mm -hmm. Yeah, there, 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 was, there was a version released in China mm -hmm. that was like min minus all the Dota branding, okay. but it was like the same game otherwise. Oh, right on. So... Yeah, yeah. We do have one game update this week. We got a couple of new games. <laughs> RTX on, yeah, baby! baby! RTX 1 through not. There's a patch for that. They added a photo mode because print screen. That, that's not a thing for some people. Support for depth of field mode. Uh, support for campaign video cutscenes. That was a missing. And uh, for me, here's what I noticed on Linux. First off, this is like your RTX game that you can actually play. And it works out of the box. It's pretty sweet. It can on a multi-monitor setup find the right monitor it can figure out what your primary monitor is if it's not just monitors after that oh. first launch because who boy who boy yeah, yeah. it's poo on that and it still does the thing <laughs> of um you'll notice with like uh, older games you'd see it a lot this isn't using sdl1 but if it, it it does something like old sdl games did where your other monitors go blank and you're like oh no Cause and oh, no and, yeah. and then it changes the resolution on one of the monitors too. Oh, just oh, like, yes. Ooh, and it <laughs> takes a minute, oh boy. and it works its way out. But <laughs> on our little toaster, I have a 2060 in the uh, thread rubber. It can, if I use the dynamic resolution scaling, and say try to hit 60, little buddy, it it will hit 60. But it looks like a hot mess in that super scaled 720p on a 42 inch mm. monitor. Man, that that. That looks yeah. a bit soft. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> here, 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 here in emulated RTX land, I get, I'm up, I'm up to 15 frames a second, baby. Woo! Hey, babe, you got to put that 1080 Ti to task, man. Yeah. Now, the, well, it, it, it's great. It's great too, because like the, the on-screen FPS counter is like, oh yeah, no, this is like 50 frames a second now. I'm like, no, no, no it's, it's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're lying to me, sweetheart. I can tell because yeah. I'm. Just, it's so choppy. It's so choppy. Now, for all fun and realsies, if I take off the super scaling and I was like, "Give me 1080p," what can a stock 2060 non-super do? It's like 42ish. I'm like, that's unplayable. So, when, so, so it went wow. down. Is it it's like 4245 <laughs> and 1080p. Went okay. up. And that's with everything cut on except for like the e extra chunky glass. And uh, again. I like I get it because it's fully ray traced. It's not like a little path tracing and like reflective puddles. It it looks mm -hmm. all right, but I, I've never been sold on the RTX thing. I'm like, oh, Blender can use that to render. Give me some of that. Let me render a video with RTX and use take those tensor cores. But yeah, games. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's a shame. It's a shame we don't get like a Linux version of Control because that one actually uses mm. the the ray tracing stuff effectively mm -hmm. like it it looks really really good given like the general aesthetic of the game mm -hmm. um fair but but again you know it's 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 gonna be weird too because like I, I don't think we're gonna get like dix vix rtx uh Aww. i don't think i don't i don't i don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> well you know given, given, given i don't think we're gonna get a lot of stuff rtx because it's been over a year man there's like what five games I, yeah. I I I think like maybe in like five to seven years, once like everyone sort of hashed out their real time ray tracing hardware stuff. Once we see the consoles then, launch with whatever AMD has got for yeah, hardware ray yeah. tracing, then once we get like the generic non RTX NVIDIA only, maybe. But maybe, maybe even yeah. when I'm watching like the RTX on off stuff like that, I remember when uh, Jensen was out there like doing these, like, look at this very carefully. Uh. I'm like, if I have to look at it, if you have to point out the difference, <laughs> ooh, I don't know about that product, Brad, but hey, man. Oh, oh man, oh, oh, man. We, yeah. we, we got one of those coming up in the news section, too. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Yeah, we do. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Shooting at the walls of heartache. Man, bang, bang. Games are, are you the warrior? warrior. Plur uh, plolog. Yes. It's like it's like prolapse with more Plur logs. Plolog. Dude. 
it's, it's, it's like it's like Plo Koon from Star Wars. Uh, there's a demo out for this, and I wanted to throw it in because it's Unreal Engine 4 game where you uh, effectively play a little adorable demonic skittle with a ninja sword, <laughs> and you run around. I downloaded it, tried it, because like this looks like some 2D Dark Souls. Ah, see what I mean? And man, okay, this is, this is definitely a platformer. And it's using Unreal Engine 4, as I just said, but it does mm-hmm. not work with a controller, period. It doesn't work with my Xbox wireless, doesn't work with the PS4, didn't work uh, with the Steam controller. It, it, it worked with my DualShock uh, with Steam Input enabled. Oh, so. maybe Steam Input. So Yeah. When did they say this is going to be available? Q1 yeah. 2020. Q, Q, Q1, yeah. So com, com, coming spoon, TM. Um, <laughs> I'm done with that. Do we need anything crazy to run it? Uh, three gigs? Yeah, it's... Uh, Decently sized game too, uh, dual core Nvidia yeah. 960. Yeah, it was, it was it was it was four gigs. It starts in like UHD and don't 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 run your UE4 games on UHD under, under uh, Linux. You're gonna have a bad no, time. I, I was holding <laughs> um, 60. It 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 ate it ate mm-hmm. a bit of poo. It was it was super chuggy on the 1080. Mm. So I don't know. Yeah, it was chuggy on the RX 580 too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's using RTX. Yeah, that's, Maybe. that's yeah. something about lack of RTX because that, that yes. increases frame rates. It's, it's well known for that. R- RTX on, baby. <laughs> oh. yeah. it, it it actually played really well with the keyboard and mouse, though. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I have that approach when I, I, I see a platformer and I'm like, you don't work. With, I'm sorry, it's 2020. I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Then I closed it. Then it opened a um, launch reporter, the error reporter for unreal engine i was like oh boy oh. but i did a good and i <laughs> sent it off which i don't even know if that crash reporter works under linux but hey man i tried yeah. <laughs> nexoria pixels Dun- dungeon rogue heroes so I, I i i gave i gave this a look because you, you you see you see that banner art and you go oh it's weeb but it's it's deep sky derelicts it's it's sort of like a slay the spire dungeon crawly Kitty. thing with with anime with with with, with weeb bullshit um you you build up your deck you crawl through dungeons you kill monsters with hipster pixel anime waifus i guess maybe you don't go to jail because they're like 300 years old in fiction they just look like little they're girls i don't know yes Some, something something mm-hmm. like that um but yeah it, it it plays a lot like um like a darkest dungeon Deep that's Skater, about like, what i was thing. gonna say yeah that looks like darkest yeah. dungeon and yeah, uh, the the card mechanic is out of like uh, Deep Sky Derelict. What so the cinnamon a bit toast of a fuck is Skyrim. this? Is that half watermelon, half bee? I think that's Mister Alert's car Got in it. Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this thing's priced to sell. Oh yeah, three, yeah. three bucks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm done with that. Um, that's yeah, not my type of game, but all right. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it looks like it could be all right. I don't, I don't know though. That art, that art style is a bit of a bitter pill to squall, swallow for me. I, 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 I am repulsed, like like vampires to silver, <laughs> or like running water by by weeb stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. It's not something I'd think of with it. Now it did show earlier this week. I'm just looking at it in the store right now. Now it says Windows only earlier this week. It was uh, rocking the uh, yeah Linux support. Oh yeah. yeah. So wow. is there a uh, is there a news I thing there? Know. I'm not mm. seeing it. Oh, it's by you know what? It's by the same guys who did uh, Time of Mari, and that was all right. Okay, right on. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We, we we threw chairs at that one actually. So it was, it was that's okay to look at. What do we have up next? Date. Demo oh, leaks. cool. Yeah, Demo, Demo leaked. leaked. It's supposed to mean it means half light in German, and it d- d- Demo does leaked. it then? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I looked it up. <laughs> so um, it, it actually means fried rice combo number two. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Dammer Light is soon to be released. A uh, beautifully surreal and atmospheric adventure puzzle games. These are my favorite kind of games in the world. I love these. Um, you play as a small orb that came into the world by someone or something, and realize that this isn't somewhere you want to be. On your journey, you collect three lights. Uh, not four, but three lights. No, there, there are four to... lights, Jill. <laughs> yeah, there are four lights, yes. Attached to three decisions. Four, and four collect... decisions. Yeah, four decisions and collect remnants of four souls that came before. <laughs> good good, and... good job, Jill. 
Da- yeah. David Warner is proud. <laughs> yes. So the demo, it actually reminds me of a cross between one of my favorite games of all time, the abstract atmospheric puzzle- puzzler Cairo, and the Doorways immersive horror adventure. I love those games. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm looking forward to playing the the full, beautifully crafted game by developer SynthCoder. I've, I went through the uh, demo in about 30 minutes. So I'm looking forward so, to more. <laughs> so Steam, Steam says that this is similar to uh, Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. So at any point, do you have to yeah. like move the camera to like match shapes up to like make it make a bigger shape? No. Is, is that, is that no. the core of this game? No. But when you're yeah, you moving make, the ball, the you don't have much ca- camera control. And I'm hoping they add that in the in the final release. You don't really have that that much control. And um, the orb that you play is very small. And sometimes it is hard to line up on on the lights that you need to um, grab in the game and the souls and uh, the lights. So that 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 is a thing. But I'm I'm. Uh, looking forward to what the final release is going to bring. <laughs> it, it's a thing uh, that might. This could be really fun, or it could be another one of those like, oh, geez, why didn't they just call it Twilight though? Was that name already taken? Probably. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. Good call, Vin. <laughs> could have sparkles in it, Jordan. Yeah, I think it already has <laughs> sparkles right, in it. Fine. Uh, coming up next how much money are you willing to spend on a monitor nvidia has a very high number as its idea Uh, yes (laughs) ladies and gentlemen that was a fun steamy segment but we got to get into the news man we got to talk about the nvidia and what they're up to like jordan was teasing and i'm going to throw some other stuff in there about some beta drivers but first (laughs) but first we got to pay the bills Hoist. we do and we're going to do that by shilling yes. shamelessly. We have no shame. <laughs> I mean, I have no shame. I don't know about the rest of you guys. But, you know, you you want you want to see us rip off our clothes and grease ourselves no. up and prostrate ourselves in front nope. of you? <laughs> well, then you better head on over to <laughs> linuxgamecast.com and click that support yeah, button baby. and donate some money from one of the other from one of the various methods and to stop us from doing that, right? We, we got we got PayPal, we got Patreon, we got LibrePay, we got Bitcoin, we got a store, we got affiliate links, and we got a wish zone. We got wish zones. We got one for the stu- Oh, if you want to end up on this wall of honor, I call it. I don't care if you call it a wall of shame, Jordan. It's a wall of honor to me, baby. <laughs> I, I, I call it a wall of fuck. You do, man. Fine, upstanding cannibals. cannibals. If we get anything for the studio, you get up there in lights, like horrible things, boring stuff. The but. SSDs, RAM. Yeah. How about pop filters? <laughs> mm-hmm. we, we, pop yeah, filters. Pop filters. Jordan's <laughs> saying, <laughs> eloquently put, buy me shit. Uh, yep. Up. <laughs> Random. I'm, 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 I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> it's crap crap that I want. But you should buy Everybody me. wants Just RAM. Oh, Pedro's got the yoga pants. It's got the yeah. yoga pants. Kylo Ren mask. <laughs> uh, do, 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 so, oh, of course, a traditional Nick Cage poster. And mm-hmm. guess who's this? This is <laughs> Pink shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. Everyone else is like black monochrome stuff. Jill, pink. Well, I, I, I really enjoy it. It's always it, done it, by priority. People, uh, even it's subconscious. We're like, okay, let's see. Oh, mic arm, new CPU, up at top. No pink mouse, man. Get gotta get that money. Yeah, this yeah, game uh, has to match my pretty pink keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, we, we got a store too. We got we got T-shirts if you want to brand yourself with your favorite mayonnaise brand Yay! or your favorite podcast brand, or maybe wear a penguin that says "Use Me." Yep, Jill's got one. On. Look at it; it's horrifying, yeah. terrifying. <laughs> Weekly Yay! day Wednesday. That that other show on Wednesday. But of course, yes. the best way the best way to support us is head on over to patreoncom slash gamecast You get a bunch of cool stuff for being like a patron. Like what? could I like, possibly? What like, could you possibly give me in return for supporting oh, may, and helping may, you may, make may, this? May, may, Maybe maybe just a little thing like access to our Discord channel and, where we have you all know, sorts I, of. I could you say or see? I don't know if I'm interested in that. What else you got? I, what I, else I you mean, got? There, there's me. a little. Well, you, you got you got the show note access. Maybe mm-hmm. you can you can you can yell at us before we even go live okay. and tell us something yeah. wrong. Can, you can even you can even you can even <laughs> be like our Theron and pitch us new stories. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. warming up a little bit, maybe. Maybe cr- cr- crowdsource our, our resource, maybe, or our research department. Okay. Uh, if if we're doing multiplayer streams, uh, you can come on in. No, I don't can, like people. Can... We, we can skip that. Um, can I watch? Oh, well, then you're. Either... Yeah, I mean, I mean, you 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 can watch some timed exclusive content. Okay. 
I mean, if if you if you really really, I mean, if you really hate people, you're not gonna like this last one. But you can buy yourself a ticket on the show if you if you want to be on an episode. You give us money, we can do that. We can make that happen. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. What What if I just want like more shows or more? Is there anything I get there? I mean, you you get the timed exclusives. That's it. Yes, Ven, you get access oh, to the. Pre- oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, the pre pre super show. I forgot. I forgot because most of most of this week's pre pre super shows and was dead was, silence. They're all yeah. dead they're, silence. they're all fantastic except for this week's. But it's kind of brilliant. You do get a custom RSS feed, and we want to thank each and every one of you because you're going to be in our credits. You're going to be awesome. And like, hey man, no commercials, no ad breaks, all that fun stuff, and we're able to store everything too. And that's kind of one of the big things, man. Like no tracking or anything like that on our podcast. That's all locally done, baby. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Yeah. It is. Sick. So, so, so no one will know the shame of you listening to this. Is cast. true, <laughs> dude. Come on, shame. You're acting like you haven't ran into like a like security nerd. You know, privacy nerd. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, let me tell you all the stuff I do. And it's like, did you control the chipset in your router? Well, um, okay. Let's talk about Vulcan, baby. Yeah, there's mm. there's some new drivers out. I, I installed them. You installed yeah. them. Um, rocking and rolling, mm-hmm. easy way to do it. Uh, did have a problem with them on Debian ten point two, and that's the hot sauce I'm running. You're running Fedora thirty one two Thir- thirty thirty. Okay, thirty. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, the biggest push with the latest Vulkan beta drivers is they will now compile with the newer five um, x testing versions of the current five five dot five. Mm. Yeah, five five. That was, that was- Five next yeah. and all that fun stuff. I mean, it works and yay. I didn't notice any like performance uh, improvement. I don't. Okay. I was thinking about this earlier, dude. When was the last time in video? Remember, remember the old times, the long, long ago, <laughs> the long, long before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> when NVIDIA drivers and like, Hey, look, performance increase on XXX. It's been a minute, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I think I think because uh, most of that's being done in, like Dixvix now. Uh, speaking of Dixvix, uh, the, apparently there was there. Was, I was hoping because in in the release notes they have like fixed a bug that causes DXVK titles to endlessly loop during shader compilation mm-hmm. if no OP source instruction was present. So I'm like, oh, maybe maybe, maybe that will help a little bit with the Vermintide. I don't know. It didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, 40, 40, 44 frames of fury, man, dude. Uh, hey, man, there were other minor fixes. Yeah, other minor fixes. Yeah, they were great. Yeah. They were terrifying. Well, well, they are under the age of sixteen. Anyways, uh, we, speaking of Dix Vix, we got we got a new version of that. Uh, what one dot five dot one, and a lot of this is uh, DX nine fixes because D nine VK mm-hmm. got merged in as of one five zero. So now they're uh, they're fixing some uh, regressions, like uh, they're improving the death bias. Um, there's some bugs where DXVK would crash uh, with the divided by zero error. They fixed some stuff on GTA 5, Halo Combat Evolved, uh, Need for Speed Carbon, Risen 2, The Sims, Trackmania, Forever, Yay. and Vampire mm, the Masquerade, yes. Bloodlines. <laughs> um, One of the things that so, really got my attention, they've tweaked the number of threads used for pi- pi- pipeline compilation, yeah. which I went well, like, oh, right, cool. right, right. That's the thing. Um, They do say this was done to reduce the performance impact on common six core and eight core CPUs while also allowing newer CPUs with more than 12 cores to use more threads. Now, this can be customized with the DXVK numcompiler threads option, but it's on by default now. And as somebody with a 12 core CPU, yay, I look forward to trying that eventually. As, as, so, as someone oh, who's very cool. saving up to buy a 12 core CPU, I also look forward <laughs> to this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it also fixed uh, uh, shadows not showing up, so we got more shadows, and that's always a good thing. Because uh, yeah, the, I've noticed there's been issues. I, with that. I, I don't. I don't think Bruce Brock <laughs> Sleitner would agree with you on that. He seems to have a problem with shadows. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Love womp, those womp. Babylon Five. Not the only <laughs> Nvidia news we have, because Nvidia has <laughs> lost their damn mind. Uh, Mm-hmm. Dude, 360 hertz yes. design. 120. 360 no scope, That's old man. school, baby. Yeah. 240. Uh, 360. They, yeah, they showed this off with, jeez. Okay. <laughs> the donger. The donger. <laughs> that gets me every time. Look, every look, time. look how intense he's yeah. playing on a 24-inch curved monitor because, really? We're going to do that? This is kind of hard to show off, man. Yeah. It is. 100%. It, yeah. 
It, it really is. They, they, even, they even say in, in the press release here is like, I mean, we're showing you this footage, but you're watching it on a 60 hertz monitor, so you're not yes. going to really see the see the uh, see the difference. So they're, oh yeah, well, so we're going to let the media play with it at CES and whatnot. Uh, and a lot of people what, were impressed by it. They were like, wow, that's really really neat. But I I, I I do I do wonder if it's one of those things like going to an NVMe SSD or like a 4K display where like once you see it then it just fucks your brain because well look look at this man I mean th there's a graph and shit so you've got to be convinced see mm -hmm. graph relative flick shot improvement <laughs> this, this seems like very flick arbitrary shot, data yeah. Um, yeah flick shot yeah I basically flick think like outside of like being a trust fund baby if you are a competitive professional if you make money from playing CS:GO then this monitor is probably for you. You could justify well, you're, the you're, eye staggering, bleeding, whatever, because you know that your, your sponsor is buying it for you, and you're not buying it I'm for just yourself. Saying, man, this thing's probably go. going to be <laughs> what it, low end seven hundred. Yeah, well, see, mm -hmm. I, I was, my, my my thing in the notes was what's what's the over under the price point? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say two grand as your minimum buy in here. Hmm. I don't know. That that yeah. that sounds a little hot for it even um I mean I mean I'm th I'm thinking Nvidia pricing though, right? Like this is well they had my attention with the uh, <sighs> what was it last year they were like the Nvidia jump we talked about it on the show like the 40 50 inch monitors of the G-Sync. Yeah, yeah, and those yeah. those were like a G. So I I think this will be mm -hmm. some $1000. Maybe. You're a very optimistic gentleman, am, sir. I am, I, I, I'm a sweet innocent. And, and when, 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 when it comes to pricing, I sort of group NVIDIA and Oracle in sort of the same group. Because we can, of, period. Because Yeah, because we can. What are you going to do? Go somewhere else? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Stab me? <laughs> Quote by man stabbed. Where do we all fall on this, though? Even with lower, like high refresh rate monitors, I don't know, like right now the kids are 100%, not just the kids, I'm just using it over generalization. The like everyone wants 144, 120, to which my old ass yeah. is going to sit back and go, I'll get 120 hertz display when you can't get something other than 120 because it's going to be the same price. Yeah, I mean, I mean, 60, 60 hertz is fine for me, my eyes aren't that great, anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and that's just what like, I was gonna say. Extra, extra yeah. blurry, <laughs> woo. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. I only see out of one eye anyway, so I don't really think I'd notice a uh, difference between 120 and 360. It'll be great, man. You really? listen, and, dude. You can just get a know. 120 and pretend. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a, a, a new uh, Samsung frame uh, QLED that's 120, and it's it's um, not as clear as this the, my beautiful Acer 43-inch Ultra HD monitor in front of me. So <laughs> according according to X Rander, my TV can support 120 hertz at 1080, mm -hmm. and I tried it, mm. and I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see the difference. Um, that's what were you watching? Like, oh, does it have a frame doubler in it? Like the do the uh, I turned oh. that off. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it look like you know that horrible soap opera. Yeah, effect. it's it's like weirdly smooth. Mm, like, yeah. I, I I got that while I was watching TNG. I'm like, no, people don't move like that in TNG. What the hell? 24 for yeah. life, baby. <laughs> okay, a uh, little, yes. little bit extra CES news. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jordan. The the, the DG1. Um, yeah, so th this was kind of uh, underwhelming. Pedro was really mad about that. I got, like, a Ouija board message from him <laughs> that was that was complaining about it because he's dead. He's dead. He will not be <laughs> so cute. Um, Look at it. Don't you just want to? Yeah, so, so th this, this is, this is going to be the development board for the new... Uh, the new Intel XE Incorrect. graphics. Incorrect. The, the internet has told me in several comment sections that this is the finished product and it will never get any better. No, <laughs> I mean, I mean, maybe, but so apparently XC is going to be a graphics chip. So they're not, they're not actually going to ship it on cards like what you're getting here. Uh, instead, you are actually going to be getting them on a die. So maybe this is a companion mm -hmm. to Iris. Maybe this is a replacement for Iris. We don't know. Intel's kind of keeping that close to the chest at the moment. But uh, they're shipping these out to developers so that um, people can start writing software for it, uh, optimizing um, optimizing their games and whatnot. Supposedly, we're going to get double the current Ice Lake, Ice, no, Ice, no, Lace, no. Ice Lake IGP <laughs> Ice performance. Lake, yeah. But like two two times shit is still shit, right? Like 
I don't, I don't, I don't really know. So it seems, it seems like our hopes for the standalone Intel GPU that will finally bring some competition to NVIDIA and to AMD is, is dashed. Um, you're, apparently, you're going to get three options. So you're going to get the LP, which apparently is targeted for gaming. Yeah. The HP, mm -hmm. which is targeted for like content creation, and then HPC, which is for GP GPU. Mm. Um, yeah. So, but again, what that actually means, we don't know. Maybe there will be standalone cards eventually. Maybe this is just like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna ship this as an IGP thing so that we can get it in people's hands, they can test it, and then we're gonna release the Intel Schmitten because it's not a Titan. It's different, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, at, at CES, Intel also announced a similar product to the Intel XE, um, their newest compute element which is a more convenient modular way to swap components in and out of their latest Nook 9 Extreme computers. And the compute element also consists of a GPU and CPU and a PCI X16 form factor like the XE. So, and, and actually they, they put out a few new Nook 9s. Um, one was aimed at uh, desktop level gaming and the other was uh, for workstation class, and it was the first time that we'd seen Nooks in this category. Mm. So it's interesting. You know, I found it interesting that they used a similar form factor uh, for the compute element as the XE. Here's what. Here's the mm. big issue. Now, they're, they're showing this off. Intel doesn't show things off until it's kind of almost ready because all joking mm -hmm. aside, people are like, well, it's just a prototype. It's early. This is great. Also true, but this is also Intel. The way Intel rock and rolls. So you got to consider this is probably going to be a real product by the end of the year, right? Yeah. I, I, or this, yeah. the what, whatever ships on that board will be a part of a product. Something like the, that. The, uh, yeah. There's probably not a lot of room to grow. However, where do we land? Are we calling it the XE or the Z? The G? Or Z. If you're looking yeah. at a big X and a little <laughs> E, that's an element. That's a Xeon. Yeah. Xenon. Uh -huh. Xenon. That, yeah. Uh, oh, that's going to get confusing. Oh. What? No, yeah. not, well, I, I mean, they, they they took a page out of the Nvidia book. We got the Titan, the Titan, and well, the Titan. How, Which one do you want? How, how many people already call like Xeon Xenons and uh -huh. dude? It's it's going to get nasty. Man, listen, trust me. Stupid finds a way. Don't give me that look. Um. Yeah, and they I, have you the know, Xeon you know, Five you know, cards. You, you got me on that one. Too. Xeon Phi. Mm. That's it. <laughs> we look forward to you. Well, it's also, it's Intel, not known for naming products correctly, unless they have like a yeah. row of digits yeah. behind them. That's kind of brilliant. Oh. <laughs> also, I, I, I can't wait for the completely doctored benchmarks that show how it outperforms the Titan. Well, we yeah. saw the uh, Cube benchmark earlier this week, and uh, it was apparently some undisclosed uh, AMD test sample that was outperforming a R RTX 2080 Ti. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, cue, cue the X Files music, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. grab your red yarn, baby. <laughs> yeah, get get ready to get ready for Pepe Silva. He's real. He's real, you guys. It's gonna be a thing. Super Tux, Super Tux Cart has a new version out. Yay! Super Tux Cart 1.1 has been released with some new additions and enhancements, and there is a new arena called Pumpkin Park that I'm looking forward to playing Spicy. here on LGC. Yeah. So, and it includes UI enhancements on desktop and mobile and a story mode timer for speedrunners. And uh, Jordan had something very, very important uh, that's uh, now uh, been fixed in this version. <laughs> yeah. The super tech no, Yeah. Uh, <laughs> network latency. Uh, they added uh, online multiplayer as of 1.0. Well, it was 0. Point whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they decided yeah. to just rename it 1.0 because like, who the fuck cares? Um, yeah. But uh, the af after getting it out in people's hands, we, we talked about this a few weeks ago when they're saying like, yeah, the RC is out. This is the final release. Um, all, all that feedback has led them to optimize some net code. It, it was already pretty solid to begin with. So ho hopefully mm -hmm. this just gets rid of a couple of hiccups. But yeah, like I get the, the speed run timer was like really in time for uh, AD yeah. AGDQ, which, okay. I, I just I just want to take a second and talk about this because I watched the blindfolded two men one controller Mike Tyson punch out where they perfected the entire game mm -hmm. and that was insane that was completely nuts. Oh, that's just really cool, man. That is yeah. made me think of I've kick, go kick some coins in uh, to their bit right there Twitch.tv with yeah. GDQ. 
because that has been playing in my background all week. I'm like, I want this network <laughs> yeah. where people are just, yeah. <laughs> speed runs are just great. Speed running. What I like are the speed, speed runs glitch, just break the, a game. The, the, the super fucking yeah. speed runs. <laughs> or, or, yeah. or yeah, like the, the, cra the crazy shit. Like, yeah, no, they're playing it like with a ball gag in the mouth and using their feet. That's kind of fun. I mean, I, I yeah. tuned in, like sit down and paid attention for the uh, Devil May Cry 5 where they just wrecked it broke it, it oh, was crying cool. but <laughs> shed those tears because we have to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the fun platform game six times that's hard to say <laughs> release uh, Terry Kavanaugh's release the games version 2.0 plus source code for everyone to modify and play with and as a surprise Sergio Carnegie Carnega announced a 10th anniversary game jam for v over on glorious train wrecks and um, our favorite Ethan Lee uh, a flippity bit <laughs> <laughs> That's a name I can hardly ever say, but Ethan Lee is one of the developers of v, who helped Terry, quote, ensure that the game runs nicely on the latest multitude of confusing Linux systems. <laughs> so, yeah, the, it's a really great game. <laughs> The, the, there, there was some interesting stuff coming up of coming out of like people reviewing the source code, including like some sixty three hundred case switch statement or something mm -hmm. like that. Like, yeah. like oh man, pe people were tearing it apart, and Terry's just like, "Yo, dude, like I, I did this years ago, See, man." I was don't, learning don't. how to do this, and in all fairness, I think there's a big reason stuff like that. The shame, oh yeah, leads to a lot of For stuff sure. not because you're like, I don't want anyone to ever, especially stuff I did a decade ago. Oh yeah, just yeah. Just, to, just to see like the 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 masking tape mm -hmm. that is just like plastered all over it just to make it run. <laughs> Absolutely. Ethan pointed out last night oh. um, on Twitter. It's like it's been out for twenty four hours. I already have ten pull requests. So yeah, it, it's great. Awesome. It's going to be updated now. Awesome. Now we got to walk in with our <laughs> well actually hat on because it's not open <laughs> source. I've seen these people have shown up, uh -huh. and you know they they get a fair point. You know it. Because it's with a license, it's a little more restrictive than open source. It's like, oh, this is my own moon moon license. But the big limitation everyone's like clamping on, you can't use it for commercial anything. No. Which is, is, is fair. Yeah. yeah, you can use it as a yeah. learning tool, which is yeah, fun. Yeah, like it, 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 it's, it says so in the license. Like the, the intention of this is so that people can make new content for Viva, 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 mm -hmm. so that people can learn from it, not so but that not people can go, d not so people yeah. can go redistribute it because like they're still yeah. charging money for it. And like it's, it's been on sale forever. You can pick it up for like a buck. Full price is yeah. five bucks. I mean, yeah. So like mm -hmm. don't, 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 don't be all shitty and like, oh, it's open. It's not open source because you can't like, play it for free like who cares well it's man? not it's, even it's, that those are the people I, the yeah. people i've seen that are complaining are the mm -hmm. open source isas that are like no you need to be very clear you know the same people that jump when i mm -hmm. say hey man unreal engine 4 is open source like don't you mean source available to which i retort you know what i fucking meant um yeah don't be that person on the internet but okay i understand you still have a valid point though between what open source versus source available. And that's what this is. Go learn from it. Make something cool. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 mm -hmm. Maybe make your own game with some 63,000 case switch statement. Why not? <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. Uh, Julius, uh, version 1.2.0 is out. What is it? It's, Never heard of it. It's it, it's yeah. uh, it's it's Caesar three. Huh. The Caesar op three. open source implementation is mm -hmm. Caesar three. So if you if you want some tomato juice and vodka, you can fork this. I thought it was going to be like a uh, Mexican salad. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Well, it's it, 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 it's it's uh it was, the guy lived in Mexico, but Cesar. he was from France originally or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, there's there's a couple new developments that came with uh, one point two Um, they have dropped uh they've dropped uh or they've increased um the SDL two version to two ten, which drops Windows XP support. So see you in hell, Windows <laughs> XP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting, um, fighting in Carthage also no longer causes an infinite loop, as well as they have an app image. So if you want to just get this up and running, you got mm -hmm. the game files for Season 3, 
download the app image, it'll point it at your game files and go off and have yourself a blast. Build yourself some aqueducts. Use lead as an artificial sweetener. Sweetener? I don't know. <laughs> sweetener, yeah. yeah. Dude. That's what they used it might for. Might be a little bit of a side oh. uh, What are your thoughts? What are your feels on, um, like, uh, I've seen more than one article. Somebody coming up like, yo, hey, Windows 7, it's EOL. Switch to Linux. Here's how. Do, do, have you seen that? Mm. You talking about like I've I've seen I've seen a couple of those articles here and yeah. there. Yes. Um, <laughs> I I don't I don't know. Like in in a perfect world, I would say yes, switch to Linux. But you got a bunch of people who are button pressers, and they're not really willing to invest the time to change their mode of thinking. That is not a polite way to talk about .dot net. Curious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They'll hear us. Yes. It does kind of boil down. Yes. I, can, I can hear their keyboards. If you're still in Windows 7, did, do you, we, during, I mean, come yeah. on, let it go. From, from, from a security standpoint, at least move to Windows 10. That gets updates. Windows 8, hate mm -hmm. yourself more. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> window, Windows RT, baby. RTX. <laughs> security through obscurity. Uh, Dragon Box. Speak. Spe Speaking of which, yeah, right? right. Mm -hmm. The pirate prototypes, we've been talking about this literally for years, uh, have begun shipping. It's the open source handheld gaming yeah. computer that these have been around forever and they've always been wicked expensive. This is no exception. If you wanted your hands on one of these fine, beautiful little things, you would have to plop down 1,400 euros, or that's about 17. Yeah. Hundred uh, that's wet the, sticky that's about USD. two grand, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And you would have done that when, two, when, when, two when and a half, three should. years ago. And maybe, just maybe, one of these would have shown up. Uh, 720p, and it's got the OMAP 5 dual core, A15, 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs EMMC, micro SDXC, and the optional 3G, 4G modem. It's uh, not... Bad. These these are boutique, though, man. We've always said that they've always been made in. What was the one before the Pyra? The, uh, oh, the Dragon box remember. or whatever, Dra yeah. something like that. I am sure we look forward to your corrections. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm 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 sure the folks who have been this waiting for thing. this are ecstatic, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The 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 Grinch. How 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 the Grinch stole, stole Christmas? I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So apparently, there, there's this. This has been a thing that they've been trying to squash Pandora. forever. Pandora. Because there's still battery walkiness. Free like genius got it. That's what they were called. The Pandora. Right? Yeah. Open Pandora. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah Pandora. Pandora. Open Pandora. Yeah. That was yeah. it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but like mm -hmm. they've been trying to squash this battery issue for a while now. They're like, yeah, we'll fix it with the software update. And that line is in every single Pyra update that we see. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But again, like if, if you if you spent the money on this, God bless you. It's because you wanted it. Mm -hmm. It's because you wanted this thing. Hopefully you're going to get it. you wanted to be the first with these things because you can pre-order one at a somewhat less teeth bleeding price of i think at about 350 euros like 3e 7380 for one you might actually want you want you want to talk shit about this guy's multi-tool i was I, you know what I, I was gonna be the better man but i, I don't take much persuasion go on <laughs> i have nothing to say about it i, was, I just thought you had something to say nah, about man, it. I, I was just gonna let that go uh because here, here's the reason my utility tool like that is normally replaced by whatever kitchen utensil has the sharpest edge that's immediately near me. <laughs> right. Knife! Aww. Which also leads me to believe I have a box cutter in the kitchen, like in uh, above the hub. The wrong side, the side, you know, when you slide it out, where the razor blade is not, apparently is a very sharp surface as well, because I've opened so many things going, ah, oh, I think that blade's getting just a little, oh, damn, um... It's still working. <laughs> uh, well, have some of those things been your fingers? Maybe. Uh, Maybe. All right. Well, go yeah. Ahead. So, so um, you know, what's really, really cool about the Pyro Dragon Box is unlike other handheld PCs like the GPD Win or Pocket, the Dragon Box is built by and for enthusiasts of open source hardware. And the goal is not to sell thousands of units, but to bring something into the world that meets specific needs for a specific set of individuals like ourselves. And it is nice to see that the Dragon Box in, is in beta test with the community and that an open source hardware project is actually coming to fruition. So th this, this was really good news because I had since forgotten about the pyro and the and the Pandora. <laughs> That's a leap of faith, man. You know, when I yeah. I, I drop like 
50, 60, maybe a hundred bucks on a Kickstarter project, <laughs> knowing that probably never going to see that money again, which two things I've, I know I'll never get. And we're not talking about games, we're talking like mm. physical items. Cause that's, that's danger. Jordan, do you think you could ever like let go of a grand on something? Just like throw it to the wind and be like, maybe no. something comes back. No, I'm too yeah. cheap. Mm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Cheap us out of here. No, 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 you no multi tool fingers, judging just... <laughs> monster. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I am the multi tool. I'm I'm a tool in many, many ways. <laughs> uh I can't tie that into Axiom Verge, so I'll just say we're throwing chairs at it. Dun, dun, dun. Woo! Oh, You're very lucky that I didn't start this segment with my foot in my mouth, right. but that's just because I lack the flexibility to do so. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, <laughs> where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, uh, Debian, and Jill. What are you? What are you running these days? Ubuntu. <laughs> Ubuntu eighteen oh four. All right, we got we got we got Ubuntu in the mix too. So Fedora, Debian, and Ubuntu. Then we can ask the question: Is it fun? This week we're taking a look at Axiom Verge. Uh, it's developed by Thomas Hap Games LLC, ported with the help of the ever sexy flippity jibbity bibbo -bi using FNA. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks everywhere, no matter what, all the time. <laughs> um, and what is it? Explore and uncover the mystery of a surreal alien world by blasting aliens and glitching your environment in this intense retro side scrolling adventure. Yeah, if you watch the speedrun, there's a lot more glitching involved, am I right? Mm. Um, yeah, uh, let's begin. How, how's, it, how's it run on the Debian? Then? Hi, Circle Vin. I knew you were going to. Da -da, da -da. Da -da, da -da. Beautiful people. Um, no <laughs> issues over here on Debian 10.2. No, I'm running a custom kernel, but yeah, as one does. Performance, you know, it does kind of tap out at around 855 FURPS on the 2060. A little let down by that, but hey, it still works. Graphics wise, look at it. This is what I like to call hipster pixel. Done. Right. <laughs> digging it like the style control everything worked out of the box man 100 percent with that but you may be wondering where we're talking about axiom verge man didn't this game come out like 11 years ago and it did it mm -hmm. did fair enough but axiom verge 2 is right around the corner so i thought it was time we actually sat down and took a proper look at this because it's metroid with like only half of the numbers filed off it really is because to say axiom verge draws heavily from the original Metroid, that'd be a little bit of an understatement. You know, the pixels, the beeps, the boops, the level design, the weapons, even the tubes that you travel between areas, all scream Metroid. And you know what? That's not a bad thing, since you'd be hard-pressed to find a better Metroidvania than one of the games responsible for the name. So, Vania? Vania, man. The old classic <laughs> Vania. Because, check this out, what Axiom Verge gets right, in my not-so-humble opinion, is that ever-difficult, ever-so-difficult balance of exploration versus reward. I'm going to bring that up, since it's what kept my happy little butt tied to a chair, hours at a time, both times I played this game. The first time, all those years ago, and the second time of, I need to put a little extra time into the game we're about to end, 11 hours later. That happened. You see, no matter what direction you take off, or tear off in, in Axiom Verge, there's a good chance of just running across, stumbling across a trinket, a little toy, you know, and just a power up or a gun or like a random moon space. Like every 15 minutes, it keeps you really engaged. All the while, you're looking at different things and like, oh, that looks blocked off. This looks blocked off. So you start theorizing, like, how am I going to get by that nonsense when the time comes? That's fun. That can keep you up at night, but it probably won't happen because mm -hmm. you'll just stay, sit down the entire time, powering your way through it. Boss fights, they're a thing. You got fights. They're kind of like the story. They're kind of like the plot. There's something you run into on occasion. They both exist only to break up your exploration. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but I am saying I did spend 11 additional hours in my first playthrough <laughs> and 13 on my second. So yeah. I could definitely think of a worse way to like spend $20 than this game. And it's available on everything by now. So yeah, play the original, get some of this in your face because I can give it a solid OMG WTF and BBQ with four chairs. <laughs> yeah. On uh, Fedora 30, 64 bit with the i7, 6700K, GTX 1080 Ti. 
It does, in fact, launch. Thank Christ. Um, performance at 1080p. Yeah, um, I, I, I took I took VSync off. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even bother. Yeah. It, 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 it shot into like four digits, and I'm like, I mean, what what do you expect? It's pixels. Yeah. <laughs> juicy, juicy pixels. Uh, every, every, everything looks all nice and explody and bloody when you shoot it. It's good. Look at that. It's so satisfying. Um, controls, yeah, FNA means that everything will work out of the box. If you want to play this on your Donkey Kong bongo set, it'll fucking work. I don't know how it will work, but it will. Um, and fun? Yeah. So, I mean, I originally bought this for the Switch um, because I figured it would be a good game that, like, doesn't eat up your battery too much that I can sink some time into on car rides or flights. And it is, because, like Ben said, it Metroid. Uh, no, I mean, Met Metroid if it was made for, like, a modern controller, because it does use all the fucking buttons it, on, like, uh, uh, DualShock. Imagine, or... like, if some they made Metroid in the style of Metroid, but they made it at the time the SNES hardware existed with, like, um... Actually, I, I would say, like, PlayStation, PlayStation DualShock. All right. Because, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, weapon swap is the, uh, analog stick, right? So... Mm. Um, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, you, you run around, you pew, pew, pew through labyrinthine levels that loop back on each other. Like, Ven actually brought up a really good point. I didn't think about that. Um, just because, like, it's, it's a fairly new game design idea. But, like, yeah, incentivizing exploration by just putting itty bitty power ups and something. Ooh, look, basically, every, 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 yeah, every, every, every couple of rooms, like, you keep, you keep your eye for it. Like, uh, oh, what, what will this room bring? And then, like, and v v again, then put it brought perfectly. Um, you 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 get these impassable areas. You're like, oh shit! So I'm get I'm getting the thing that will let me bypass this pretty soon, right? Maybe no, but then you get something else that opens something other some other thing up, and you're like, oh, all right. Um, it almost yeah, and, makes you look forward to backtracking. It really does. Like it 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 does it does the uh, it does the Metroid. Um, metroid implementation very very well like and yeah like you you can say like oh this is ripping off metroid from like the aesthetic to the boss fights to the weapons mm -hmm. and you know what there's nothing wrong with wearing your inspiration on your sleeve especially when you're not making like a cheap knockoff and you're making something that has a comparable experience and axiom verge does that it is it uses the the language of like classic metroid to make a new thing that is both reminiscent of the old thing but also improves upon it and i think that's that's a good thing. Axiom Verge accomplishes what it's set to do. I'll well, give it three chairs because it's a pretty fun game. You should buy it. Jill, did we lose Jill? Jill. Oh God, we we lost another co-host. Oh, God no. damn it, Jill. Did you mute yourself by any chance? Uh, there. okay. Hi. <laughs> Oh, well, Hi, welcome, welcome back to Linux Gamecast. <laughs> oh my You're god, the that's show. the first time I've ever done that during a show. <laughs> I muted myself on accident. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, yes, it does launch um, in a very tiny window on my Acer Ultra HD monitor on my Core i7 CPU, AMD RX 580, 8 gig GPU running Ubuntu 18.04. And it works great at. Uh, 4x they're they're calling 4x which is actually um, 1080p in the graphics options menu and it runs at 60 um, fps with vsync on and then you turn vsync off and it's it's really happy <laughs> so runs at 220 with vsync off and i also ran it at 1440p as well and the game the graphics oh they uh run beautifully. It's it's really smooth and didn't see any noticeable glitches in it at all. And as with many side scrollers, it worked great with my 8-bit do controller and is extremely responsive. And it was a bit more challenging using a keyboard, of course, but that was to be expected for uh, this style of game. And so I give it four chairs for that. Um, and then for fun, I am loving, uh, one of the first things that I noticed when I launched the game was the driving retro chiptunes music and sound design. And the atmosphere and gameplay are actually exquisite. I really like the alien creatures that you fight and they're just, they're all very unique. And um, it's definitely a love letter to classic nest style Metrovanias as uh, Jordan and Ven have just said. And it draws you into a retro hipster pixel world, 
but plays like a newer game would. The joystick control for movement is very, very precise and smooth. This is a honestly. perfect example of like, yeah. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I was really impressed by that because that's that's one of the things a lot of the, the games have issues with. And, and normally, you know, I don't like using a joystick for the control. I'll just use classic D-pad, much like I do usually do for other side scrollers and retro style games. And... Yeah, the feel of this game is so arcade-like, but on steroids. And I'm giving it three chairs. And it was a lot of fun. <laughs> there. Yeah. One of the things... <laughs> I, I, definitely with the game is I felt myself... You know, I started off with the analog stick when I was controlling, like, dancing around. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Further in the game, you will naturally, slowly... You'll run into sections to where that'll cause you to start using the D-pad... And by the time you get to the end of the game, you'll be using only D-pad because you need mm -hmm. that super precise. You need that. The dashing. Okay. Just the, especially when you get up to like the triple dash. Jordan? Yeah, that, 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 was, that was the thing with like classic Metroid 2 is like you, you de for definitely, especially for like uh, speedrun stuff, you really, really need that precision, especially for a bunch of frame perfect stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, like there's, there's replayability. They have a speedrun mode and... What, uh, Ven? What's the what's the current speed run on SGDQ? I think it was a, or, uh, yes, uh, as it's like thirty two or thirty six minutes. Yeah, so there, there there's a pretty active community for this. So if you're looking for uh, Metroidvania to like dive into and speed run, this this is a good choice. Mm -hmm. Like I, I I don't think anyone here will like talk shit about the game because it's really solid. Yeah, and you should, really you should it it gets a pretty heavy wreck from us. All right, coming up next, we're gonna read some uh, we're gonna read some obituaries. For our dearly departed Pedro, who is dead and will not be missed. <laughs> the end. Yes, hipster pixel goodness, we just wrapped that up, so it's time. That wonderful, special time, each and every week, <gasps> where you can scream in our face organs and be like, yo, man, I want to tell you something. Something's going on. I got a thought, <laughs> hint, allegation. Maybe something you probably shouldn't say, but you're going to say it anyway. And if you want to do that, head over to our contact page. It's located forward slash contact. You see that contact button up there? Smash it like it's family. Warning, if you're sending us something like a press release with a gang of links and all that, our spam golem will tell you to die in all the fires. So just send that to show at LennoxCMCast.com. But you are intending to play the home game. Select the right show. Give us a name, an email address, a subject, and maybe a message. I mean, you know, maybe you're too cool to do that. That's fine. It probably just won't send it. Jordan, how do you send messages mm -hmm. to people outside of smoke signal? I know that's your traditional Canadian <laughs> way of doing things. Oh. Megaphone. 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 <laughs> mm. Have you ever tried to communicate with hugs? Yes, hugs. but there's it's usually very messy afterwards, so I put a stop on that. <laughs> that put the kibosh that on sounds it. Sounds fair enough, man. <laughs> uh we do have two pieces. We, we, we do. The first one is from Mr. Frostclaw, 20, 21. He says, uh, keep Pedro dead, but revive Jill because she was dead. And have her also do the LGCW show. Love the show without Pedro. All right. Yeah. Jill, you, 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 you want to come back next Saturday? <laughs> sure. Oh. And, 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 and the one after that? And the one after that? And the one after okay. that? <laughs> no. Oh, I love Pedro. Steve's just sitting back so, going, someone has yes. To. Yeah. As he's building his models right now, he's like, this is awesome. Yes. You have no authority in Fort Kickass. <laughs> um, don't worry. I mean, there, there's a there's a high probability that they're going to let Pedro back in the country. Because, you know, it's like, oh, that's a bold move. All right, go for it. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's really easy to transport corpses in Tingland. Tingland? Tingland. <laughs> Tingland, man. Oh, Tingland. Ting, ting. Walla, walla, bing. What do we have? Uh, Jackie. <laughs> ting, ting. Uh, ja Jackie Moon. Yeah, Jackie's back. Gee. He says, will you have an auction for Pedro's T-shirts? <laughs> P.S. Yeah. He will always be loved, only in our memories. Aww. <laughs> No, you won't. You're still dead. We'll not be missed. Should we make a like T-shirt, Pedro? Oh man, we could make a Pedro. Uh, okay, here we like, go. Like a Paul is dead. No, dude. No, no. I'm thinking a, t a, a Pedro Gala made entirely of T-shirts. 
I don't think we want to sell that though. I think we want to have that carry out. It will call you Mother. Linux Gamecast. <laughs> Why oh, did boy. you build me to feel pain? Oh, are you my father? <laughs> Just are you are you my mummy? <laughs> oh, Ooh, a little gas mask could be cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Cut off, cut off its, cut off its right hand just for good measure. <laughs> Only after we make it feel pain. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, Jill agrees. Pain's great. Yay. Pain is wonderful, <laughs> dude. I don't think it's going to get better than that. But um, we got anything else? No, we don't. We got to roll some credits and thank all the lovely people. Yeah. But first, for the three hundred and eighty, we didn't, we didn't do a three eighty six joke, lads. Yeah, I three eighty six for the win. We 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 talked about <laughs> Intel too. It's it's kind of a shame. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, oh gosh. This, ep <laughs> this episode brought to you by Risk Five. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Arm. <laughs> On that bombshell, there's your music, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us live. You can watch us after the fact anywhere. You can get a podcast, and we even put a video thing up on Twitch for subs and on YouTube for everyone else. There's like six people that watch it. It's brilliant. Do you want to scream at me? I'm just at Vin soon on Twitter. I'm there. I'm hanging out. Or just at Vin at mast.linuxgamecast.com. That's the thing. I am Jordan Swung, and I am in constant pain all the time, nonstop. It makes me a little loopy. You can increase my pain by messaging me at the Burning Fool on Twitter or at Frojo on our Mastodon at mast.linuxgamecast.com. Who the hell are you, lady? What are you Aww. doing here? Where's I'm Jill Bryant, also known as Jill Bryant Reinecker. <laughs> and I'm on Twitter at Jill underscore Linux girl. And on Mastodon at Jill underscore Linux girl at mast.linuxgamecast.com. <laughs> what the hell did we learn? Other than we completely missed the i386 joke with Intel. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we learned about the drum solo of Resurrection and why no one can perform it anymore. But um, Raging optimism and uninspired stupidity. That's what Vince Which one am I? I credits. think it's the latter. <laughs> it's the dangerous Linux duo. Oh, am I raging optimism? <laughs> sure. Sure, why, why not? We, we, we got to thank our executive producers for making this possible. <laughs> Arthurian, Mr. Fox Dog, Empty, The Yay. Atomic Gas, Mike G, Mike G. Bob Ram, Tarpo, Aldius, Mac Geek, and Scoot. Um, yeah, Scoots. <laughs> and just the, the and plain old producers. horses. Yes. Like, like Chris Fisher Lutris. and Renee and Martin and Leonardo. <laughs> Craig. And Kim. The and Paul. North Ranger. And, and Artane. Near. Ryan. Linux Noob. Joe Angel. The Thomas, other Jordan. Earl. Rohit. Jolly, Stony Fish. Mr. Matthew. Alert, uh, Matt C. Mike Reineker, W. Christopher. Reiner Prime. <laughs> Zoe. Vertnog. Gerg. Belker. Basil. Linda. Dominic. Uh, Kylinux cast. Kylinux cast. Carl! Carl! Nova King and Brock. <laughs> He's the, my Thank least favorite all. gym leader in Kanto, but you know what? I'm not going to hold it against him. <laughs> no, fuck nope. no fuck wall. No fuck wall. Frank has been catfished for the last time. Oh. Okay. Also, Google. Find upstanding cannibals. I just did a search for t shirt golem. You let me down. Oh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I would have thought that actually existed. Dino Fire for me. We'll see you next week. We Boom. love you. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>